a city famed for its naval history, there is a new arrival vying for attention. Messenger, as she's known, seemingly walking on the water of Plymouth Sound. An unorthodox entrance, but this was the only means of getting a nine and a half ton bronze sculpture to her new home. She's an actor caught in a crouch while rehearsing inside the theatre, now cast in the same role outside. I felt this moment that I saw in this pose, this actor, really captured the essence of that tentative, sort of playful energy. It was important to kind of represent a woman with this piece and um, to make her scale really large just felt like a really big statement. The journey from the foundry in Wales where the artwork took shape to its city centre location in Devon is the final piece of a multi-million pound regeneration of the theatre. You're always on a journey with a kind of cultural institution as you are with a city. Uh, but it's a major step, I think. It's a major statement for the theatre. And I think almost more importantly, it's a major statement for the city of Plymouth in terms of its sort of ambition and vision for the future and its confidence. The UK's largest bronze sculpture's future is bound to this city, a place steeped in naval tradition, but pointing towards its cultural future. At least that is what they hope will be the message of Messenger. Rupert Evelyn, News at 10, Plymouth.